the serious news regarding the financial well-being of the Sisters of St. Joseph of Springfield, who last month publicly revealed serious financial challenges the community is facing and the plans they have to address these concerns. I met with Sister Maxine Schneider, president of the order last week, and she shared some of the immediate steps the sisters plan to take to ensure a future for the religious organization. Like many religious communities today, the Sisters of St. Joseph of Springfield are facing enormous economic challenges. And over this last year, the religious community says the severity of their financial situation became more apparent. Financial consultants with Plant Moran of Southfield, Michigan, have advised the sisters that their fiscal stability was in danger. We've learned that within about five or six years, were we to do nothing, we would literally be without cash assets. While at the same time, actuarial studies indicated that by 2018, there will still be more than 200 living Sisters of St. Joseph that must be cared for and supported. So the Sisters have begun undertaking budget cuts while looking at ways to better utilize their mother house property, which is bookended by their health care center and HUD senior housing. And while rumors are all around, Sister Maxine identified what the community does know as fact. We're very confident of, of three things. Our nursing home will continue, our HUD residences will continue, and our presence as Sisters of St. Joseph in the region will continue. Sister Maxine says that support has come from near and far, neighbors, strangers, and friends, as word of the fiscal crisis spread. Words of encouragement from a former student at the Elms College touched Sister Maxine. Dear Sister Maxine, it has been 35 years since I sat in your analytical chemistry and instrumental class. My Elms education has helped fund my daughter's college education. I will try to help a little at a time. It is a small amount for a big thank you. Good luck with your fundraising. But fundraising will have to be matched with a solid plan to redevelop the mount, which is likely, according to Sister Maxine, to include more senior living. We believe there is an attractiveness. And it's wonderful for us, too, because our world is enlarged by, by being with others and sharing our space and sharing life in so many ways. A goal they hope to be successful in achieving.